From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday Stop Star is more signs that the tourism industry is coming back out of the coronavirus. Bahama knocks in the opening of its new water theme park yesterday. It employs another 500 persons. Prime Minister Minnis among the officials attending the ribbon-cutting ceremony. He likes what he sees, says the country is on the way back. Scores of jobs and economic opportunities for Bahamians. We are coming back stronger than ever. Bahama officials say bookings are good. The prospects for the rest of the year and for next year are very promising also. Our group business is still not returning until late Q3 or Q4, uh, but we're very optimistic about the rest of this year, and certainly 2022 uh, looks to be, again, a record year for us as well. Not CEO Graham Davis. All Bahama employees are now back to work. Former Deputy Prime Minister Cynthia Pratt has confirmed she tested positive for the coronavirus recently. She's now in recovery mode, still in quarantine. She's urging persons to take precautions to avoid getting that virus. Elsa, now a tropical storm in the Atlantic Ocean heading for the Lesser Antilles and heading this way. Generally, the track keeps it to the south of us, but forecasters will monitor over the weekend. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. There's another coronavirus outbreak on Bimini, and it's forced the competent authority to put new restrictions in place for the island, including a 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew, 36 more confirmed corona cases reported by the Ministry of Health for Wednesday, 31 in the capital, 5 in Grand Bahama. Hospital numbers continue to creep up, 46 persons in now. No other deaths have been reported. The ministry announcing also that it's now in talks with Chinese officials about getting some of their vaccine. No details yet, but reports that police were involved in another shooting incident. Reports say officers were forced to shoot an armed man here in the capital last night. The initial report says the man was taken to hospital. His condition is not known. The National Congress of Trade Unions is accusing top executives at government agencies of using union busting and bullying tactics to intimidate workers. The umbrella union says labor relations in the country have hit rock bottom. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. That upper level low is still in the area, generating some unsettled weather. Partly cloudy showers around, highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. Showers could still be around, and forecasters will be watching Tropical Storm Elsa. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines. Record heat continues in the western U.S. and Canada. Temperatures in the triple digits in most areas this week. More than 50 deaths have been blamed on the excessive heat, which continues, but not at the same level. There's another warning from the World Health Organization about the Delta variant of the coronavirus. It's triggering surges in several countries in Africa, and cases are beginning to go up in European countries thought to have the spread under control. The American CDC also warning about the spread in the U.S. The variant is now in all states, and case numbers are beginning to go up heading into the U.S. Independence holiday weekend. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. No changes. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Find out who is on the Bahamas Olympic team heading for Tokyo. The names have been released now. Milwaukee won in the NBA playoffs last night, leading 3-2 over Atlanta in that series now. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns waiting for the winner. There's a preview in the Tribune Sports. Get the latest Major League Baseball news. Jazz on the Marlins off last night. They open a series in Atlanta tonight. Your Wimbledon update is in the Tribune Sports and a report on the loss of Coach Terry Wildgoose in Grand Bahama. All in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com.